God, I lay me down to sleep. I pray the Lord that I wake again. I wake again. I wake again. I pray the Lord that I wake again. What it do, bit of crew, it is your boy Finance B here back with another brand new video today. Today I'm gonna be teaching you how to do your fakies properly and consistently. I'll teach you the difference between an Indian giver and a non-Indian giver. I'm gonna teach you the difference between front side, backside cabs, etc., full cabs, all that stuff. So if you enjoy this video, you know what to do. Subscribe if you're new. And with that being said, let's get into the video. You remember Bring It On? How about Bring It On Again? How about Bring It On All or Nothing? There's like six of those movies. It's not important. Throw that up on the action replay. Damn, son. My ankle got squished. But it's chilling. Like. That was so bad. The way I landed. Ayo, at least that's the first time that's ever happened. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, they're gonna enjoy it, for sure. All right, peace. Rumor has it we're gonna be getting a huge care package in the next few weeks. Some more epic content coming your way from the uh, Ryder and Brothers of Aztec. The key to a good fakie is just composition, right? Is balance. You need to be chilling when you're in a fakie. You need to not worry about, you know, oh my God, I'm going backwards. First time you do a fakie, it'll probably look like this. My first pro tip to fakies is your weight. I always try to center my weight right over my back wheel so that it takes all the stress away from actually putting weight on this front steerer. It's like when you're playing COD and you reverse the X axis. Why is that sitting there? So when you hop in, you just wanna sit back as far as possible. It helps you be able to steer. So the first step to landing the perfect fakie rollback, you're gonna have to find a bank, a quarter pipe, something to actually perform the 180 out of. So here we've got this little kick bank, right? It's a nice little easy obstacle to pop a little 180 out of. That right there is what I would call a textbook fakie. It also helps to actually squat a little bit too. You kind of want to, you know, make sure that you're really sitting back there. I know it's scary if you're actually rolling backwards, but trust me, the lower your center of balance is, the easier it is just to be able to slightly stay away to the obstacle where you're going to cab out, right? You can even practice just by pushing. This is going to help you learn how to steer. You see like this? And cab out. I did that first try, mate. Now, what is a J-hop? A J-hop is basically when you're in fakie and you lift up the back wheel to adjust where you're going instead of your front wheel, your steerer. That's where you want to be turning yourself, not the back wheel. Big no-no. Don't do it. There's also just straight up hopping where people just hop both wheels both ways. If you do this, I would say the limit is maybe two, three, and then just go for the trick again. I should also mention too that the correct way to 180 is backside. The first way you should be learning to 180 is to your right if you're regular and to your left if you're goofy. But some people are natural frontside. I myself am actually a natural frontside spinner. That's why my front 360 truck drivers are madness. As you can see when I do my 180s, I can go ambidex, but you never mix the both of them. Right, you got seven seconds in the comments to tell me what I did wrong. What did Scooter Brad do wrong in the previous line? That's right, he did an Indian giver. This right here is an Indian giver. Backside in, front side out. This is definitely acceptable on some occasions. It's tricky. Some people love it, some people hate it. It definitely depends on the combo, so be careful when making your trick selection for this uh, particular technique. 
The correct way to cab out is the same way you went in. Backside in, backside out, front side in, front side out. I've been trying to think of the perfect example of where an Indian giver is necessary. That, that is where it's necessary. The hop fakey trick. I don't see the appeal of that one. Which one was better? Front side cab, back side cab. In the comments, go. Full cabs. Now a full cab is when you're in fakie, you do a 360, you land back in fakie. You can do this backside, you can do this front side, it's a lot of fun. There's also five cab, seven cab, nine cab, 14 foot, that, I mean that one's easy, but. Consider how good your riding style looks. I'm much more concerned about the way that it actually looks to watch you scooter. I could watch you do tail whip airs if they look nice over someone who's doing bride buttercup because I see that all the time. What I want to see is really good style riding. It's more like, how do I do this trick, but in the most aesthetic way possible. So, that's pretty much it for my uh, pro tips on fakies video today. If you guys have any more questions about fakies and want me to do an update in the future, just let me know in the comments below. You guys know what to do if you're new, subscribe, smash like, get your mates on a scooter, come out to your local, ride it, respect it. And until then, I'll see you guys. It's been your boy Finance B, it's another video done for me. Later. So you want to jump in, sit that weight back and it makes it a lot easier to actually steer. So that one. So, that was one more time. So that right there, do it again. All right, see you later. You know I wash the little ledge, the low one, how it goes ledge, drop, drop. I always do da da ba da ba ba da ba 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 da ba ba